let's see I don't like that. Let's, I don't like that. Let's edit that. Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am Yana Simone. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Today I decided to bring you guys my spring brunch daytime lookbook. I decided what better time it is right now to go ahead and film some ideas for you guys to wear to brunch. It is my favorite time of the year, the springtime. I was born in the spring. I'm a spring baby. So, and brunch is just my vibe. I decided to go ahead and bring you guys this lookbook. It is very bright, very springy, very feminine, very girly. So, and I just wanted to play with a pop of color, honestly, because I'm a very, a neutral girl, a black girl, a blush girl when it comes to pieces that are in my wardrobe but I decided to go ahead and play with some color this spring I feel like orange and yellows look so gorgeous on my skin tone especially since I've been out in Mexico I've been out in Miami getting a tan y'all so I decided to go ahead and add some pop of color in my wardrobe for this spring time I just wanted to come and bring you guys these videos if you like videos like this, be sure to thumbs it up, comment in the comment section which look was your favorite, and let me know if you guys like hauls, if you like lookbooks, if you like fashion videos. With that being said, follow me on Instagram at Miana Simone as well, so you guys can keep up with me while I'm not here on YouTube. And yeah, so let's go ahead and jump right into this lookbook. The first two pieces that I put together, as you guys can see on the screen, and all of the links will also be listed down in the description box just in case you want it, to go ahead and add these pieces to your wardrobe or the first two pieces that I put together was this white um, bustier crop top it's kind of like a bustier crop top to me um, it's definitely showing some midriff here um, and I paired it with some high-waisted jeans okay guys so the one thing I love about brunch time is that you can wear bright colors you can wear white um, I feel like you know Black is more for nighttime looks, but white you can wear in the daytime, girl, and it looks so good. I actually got this shirt from Shein. It will also be linked down in the description box for you guys to go ahead and purchase if you would like. This shirt is super cute on me. I did go up a size just because I am a little top heavy, and I wanted it to fit like a crop top, but I didn't want it to be too tight. Um, you know how some crop tops can make you look squeezed in, especially if you have bigger boobs like myself. Um, so this white top is super, super cute with the denim jeans. I love denim jeans, especially during the springtime. I feel like it pairs so well with white. Um, I will also say that you can also pair this shirt with a pair of white shorts. I feel like white shorts are also like daytime vibes, brunch vibes, Sunday fun day, you know what I'm saying? Both of these would be paired really well together um, if you decide to do the white um, shorts or the denim shorts. I feel like they both would look really, really good. What I love about this look is this cute bag that I got from Zara, y'all. This bag was more on the pricier side for a clutch, but I feel like it's so spring and daytime vibes. I have wore this bag a few times and I have po posted um, some pictures on Instagram with the bag. It is the cutest little bag. Um, I feel like Zara has definitely mastered, if you want to go for the basics, but you know, to add a little sass, add a little pop of color into your wardrobe, and their pieces are really good quality so yes i got my shirt from Shein, and i got my pair of shorts from zara along with the bag so my go-to pair of shoes with this look would probably just be my clear heels that are in new that i also got from zara i feel like those shoes are just you know, just the go-to. I feel like clear heels, you can never go wrong with clear heels. They look so good on. It's just a statement piece that you honestly need in your wardrobe. But if not, you don't want to go for a clear heel like I did. I could, or you could also go for a cute little pair of strap-up lace white heels. I feel like those would be really, really cute. I actually need to add some into my wardrobe. For look number two, it's probably one of my favorites. It's super adorable on me. Actually, when I purchased this dress, I didn't, when I purchased this dress, I didn't think that it would fit the way it did. It's super simple, but it's such a cute white basic dress that you just need in your wardrobe. I feel like you honestly need a nude, a white, and a black 
little bitty dress. Just like they said, LBD, you need a little white dress as well. Especially in your spring and brunch, daytime, Sunday, Sunday outfit. For wardrobe, I feel like you definitely need this dress. Um, so this dress is from Pretty Little Thing. It is so cute on me, you guys. I feel like for it to be such a little basic dress, like I like the way it fits just because it has the rouge detailing on the side. On the boob part, it has like cups. So it's no padding or whatever. It's just little cups where your boobs can sit. I, like I said, I am on the bigger boob girl side. So sometimes these kind of dresses just don't fit me really well. But when I wore this in Houston, I feel like it just looked really good on me. I paired these with my clear heels that are from Eco Official. So I have a few pairs of clear heels, sandals, whatever. I literally love them. They go with everything. So I did pair it with this and I also paired it with a cute little white bag. So this is something that is very simple but very brunch, daytime vibe. I feel like you can wear this too a brunch and then head straight to a day party so yeah i love this look it's probably one of my favorites that really compliments me i feel like so my next look is from pretty little thing as well you guys this dress is the cutest little asymmetrical dress i wore this in miami when i was in miami and i just literally felt like a little barbie like a little snack like it is so cute on me i love the way it complements my figure like i said it's really hard to find things that compliment you, especially when you're ordering online. Um, I am curvy, I would say, and I have bigger boobs. So sometimes these kind of dresses just don't compliment me the way I would like them to. But I really like this dress. I really like the way it fits me. It is super cute. It's giving me like Miami heat. Like literally it was perfect to wear in Miami. Um, I just love the look of this dress. The quality is not too bad for it to be a um, pretty little thing. But if I was to wear this out, it would probably definitely be more on the daytime, day party, Sunday, Monday vibe. So going into about 4 p.m. into the later evenings of the night, I did wear it to dinner. So to me, it's just something that's just very sexy. You know, you can look sexy during the daytime, but this is a dress that you want to wear at night, girl. Like you want to oil up your body. You just want to look good. You want to look good in this dress because I feel like the red, the burgundy, the orange, and the yellow just bring out the melanin in my skin and I just, I'm here for it. I love it. <laughs> so yeah, I really love when I wore this dress. I just felt really, really pretty. I felt girly, I felt sexy. Um, and yeah, I, de I definitely think it was perfect for Miami. I paired it with my cute Aldo shoes that I purchased for my birthday. Um, these shoes, were perfect for the occasion. I feel like these shoes hurt so bad. Um, I might have to go back to Aldo and get the soles that she told me to purchase with these shoes. But I wore these shoes to dinner. So we got from the hotel, Uber to the place, the dinner, the steakhouse, sat down, and then came back home. Like that's that's where you wear these shoes. But girl, they're so cute. They're so cute for nighttime. And they just, you know, add a little pop of color as well. The mocha, I feel like, really complements my skin. And I paired it cute with this little dress. So, this bag is my Zara bag. You guys already know that this is going to be the bag of the spring and daytime. Just because I feel like it's super, you know, it's giving me very festive vibes. Like, very daytime vibes. Very cute. Very girly. Okay, so my next dress is from Shein. It's this cute little rouge strapless orange and white tie-dye dress i feel like it is perfect for the daytime i actually wore this when we went to a rooftop bar that was on the 40th floor so it was very very appropriate for where we were um not too tight feels very good very soft i'm really into the rouge detailing right now i feel like it screams just girly it screams daytime it screams fits my body right I just love rouge right now so and you know it's back in style so I definitely paired this with my cute Zara bag I paired it with this orange pop of color heels that are from Shein I really really like these heels and they don't hurt like I thought they would I feel like the slide and shoe is definitely my vibe I feel like I'm the girl that is very very lazy when it comes to putting on heels so as you can tell a lot of my shoes are very very 
simple. You could just slide your foot in and go. These shoes are not too high. I was a little nervous about them hurting my feet, but um, when we were at the bar, we were pretty much just sitting down having a few cocktails. So it was actually perfect for the hour. And of course I paired it with my cute Zara bag. Okay, so my next outfit is probably one of my favorites. You guys, this dress is screaming, I am a Barbie. I'm a Barbie doll, okay? When I bought this dress, I knew that it was gonna look so good on me. It compliments me. Like, I got so many compliments when I wore this dress out for brunch. We went to a brunch spot in Miami, and it was just the cutest little brunch spot. I feel like I was literally back in Tulum or back in Mexico. If you've ever been to Tulum, you know the vibes. It's a very different vibe. It was very, very, very sexy, especially for daytime brunch. So I was wearing the perfect outfit. I feel like this color is just, it doesn't do justice. Like, you have to see it in person. It's literally the cutest, like, tangerine color. And it looks so good on my melanin body. So I feel like these kind of colors don't be afraid of color when it comes to the spring and daytime you want to incorporate some bright colors into your wardrobe just because it makes you look and feel so good so i wore this dress out for brunch it was the cutest little dress it is like a baby doll dress i love how the straps are off the arms it fits my boob area very very nicely and it also snugs on my body i wore it and paired it with my cute sheet in orange hills and also with my cute little clutch from zara so i really like the way this outfit came out i feel like it just does you have to see it in person you have to see it in person i do have a picture on my instagram if you guys can go follow me at me on a simone to click on click on it like it let me know what you think about the dress i really love that dress on me i feel like it looks so good and it's so super cute for daytime vibes I'm really into the baby doll look so I also bought a a yellow dress that is kind of similar and not really it's more of a short sleeve dress it has the rouge detailing as well and it snugs on your body this dress is just the cutest as well I love the color it's super bright in person I feel like you guys you just have to see it in person like it's so cute it looks so good on me it's definitely appropriate for brunch and then transitioning into daytime vibes as well you can literally wear this dress all day long and let if you want to head into the night part of sunday fun day as well you can hit a little lounge or a bar as well and you will still look freaking adorable i love this color it's so pretty so like i said don't be afraid to play with color this summer you can play with some really really nice emerald greens um some pink some hot pink colors and also like a, a lot of people are into color blocking um i haven't mastered that yet i'm not afraid of it but i haven't mastered it but i do want to start color blocking with some pieces as well so pairing some bright orange tangerines with some nice hot pinks i feel like that will look good as well i paired this bag with my cute little clear clutch that you guys can see in the clip and i've also paired it with my clear heels so yeah, I really, really like this look as well. It's probably one of my favorites. Let's not forget that the last, the few last few dresses are from Pretty Little Thing. I will link them down in the description box just in case I didn't mention that. But let's go ahead and head on to the next look. And the last look, this is one of my favorite looks. I feel like this is definitely heading to more the evening side of Sunday Fun Day. Um, but it's this cute little yellow rouge long midi dress. I love midi dresses on me. If you don't know anything about me, I love a good midi dress. I'm the perfect height for midi dresses. I am 5'5 five five and 3 fourths, y'all. Okay, I'm 5'5 five five and 3 fourths. But I feel like this cut this midi dress and the cut of this dress looks very good on me i have um pretty long legs so the slit on the side definitely compliments me it gives me a little sex appeal but not too much um and it's just a nice quality dress honestly i'm a little shocked just because i feel like sometimes pr with pretty little thing it's a hit or miss but that dress really really compliments me so i love that it's like again a yellow a bright color that you can incorporate into your spring and your daytime vibes and then you can also head into a nice dinner with your girls or a nice dinner with your boo if you guys like videos like this make sure to comment down in the comment section which look was your favorite also let me know any other try on hauls or lookbooks that you would like to see 
here in the new future since I am going to be creating some new and fresh content for you guys. Go ahead and follow me on Instagram so you can keep up with me when I'm not here on YouTube. I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye. It's not that I want you here. Yeah.